Hi everyone. Today we're going to dive into how to migrate emails from your personal Gmail account to your Google Workspace account. This is especially relevant for people who have moved from running their small business through a gmail.com email address to a custom domain through Google Workspace, but still need all those historical emails and naturally want them in one spot. Hi, this is Priya from That Online Stuff and I help small business owners with usable and practical advice for their Google Workspace setup. Now, let's get into the migration process. I'm assuming you've already set up a Google Workspace with at least one user. If you have, then the first step is to set up the source Gmail account. Log into your personal Gmail account, click on settings, all settings, and then click on forwarding and pop IMAP. From here, click on enable IMAP. Scroll down and save changes. Now, by default, that means all of your email is now going to be migrated across when we do the next step. But if that doesn't work for you, for example, perhaps you've got quite a lot of email mixed up in this email account and you don't want all of it to be migrated across, well, you can choose what mail is migrated. And I've set up a couple of scenarios here. I've got, as you can see, I've got 304 emails. Four of them are in my sent email box. I've got 50 with the label of another label, 123 with the label of transfer, and the remainder are unlabeled. So what I'm going to do is I just want to transfer those labels, those emails that have the transfer label and all my sent emails. So I'm going to go into settings, see all settings and go to labels. And as you can see here, because these are all ticked as show in IMAP, they would automatically be transferred in any migration. But as I said, I don't want that to happen. So by default, inbox is always going to be moved. There's nothing I can do about that. But I don't want important, snoozed, starred. I do want my sent. Don't worry about scheduled or drafts. I'm going to deselect all mail because otherwise none of this makes any sense at all. Get rid of, obviously not going to transfer my spam or my trash. And then, as I said, I don't want to transfer those that are assigned another label. So now this should only transfer over 123 messages with transfer, four that are in my sent, and then the remainder of the 250 which are in the inbox going to be interesting is whether these another label get transferred. We will see. Okay. So from here you're going to log into your Google Workspace admin console and if you've been watching any of my videos for any length of time you know that's always going to be something you have to do. So from the admin console go to data, data import and export and then data migration. Depending on when you view this video, there may or may not be two migration features here. To future-proof the video as much as possible, I'm selecting go to the new data migration service. Click on migrate under Gmail and then enter your source email address and click on request authorization. Now you have to go back to your other email address where you will have received a new email request for authorization. Click on there and authorize. Make sure you select view your email messages and settings, otherwise this data migration won't work. 
and you can see you're now authorized. So flick back to the Workspace Admin Console, click on Verify Authorization, and you're now connected. Where do you want the emails migrated to? So just type in the email address here. and save. And then what do you want to bring over? So if there's a particular start date that you have in mind, um, well, you have to put in a, any, any start date here. I'm just going to put the 1st of January 2011, because that's probably far enough back in the future for that email address. Just ignore all of this and then click on save. And then start migration. And now that's in progress and it will keep updating here, but you can move it away from here and it'll keep working in the background. If I just go to Nehru's email at the moment, you can see that there's only the two original ones here. So now I can see that I've got a lot more emails than I originally had. In fact, I've got 291. So I've had 289 emails migrated across to this Google Workspace user account, which answers the question. If you've set up uh, the migration to only show certain labels, but some labels are still in the inbox, they are going to come across. You can see here another label came across when I hadn't selected that in the source Gmail. So the things you learn when you're doing an online tutorial for Google Workspace admin users. If you want any future emails that are sent to the original Gmail account to come to your Google Workspace account, then you'll need to set up forwarding. But that's the subject of another video. So see the description for the link. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was of assistance to you. And remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.